Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Enorita James. I'm a clinical laboratory stroke clinical research scientist of over 22 years experience. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a very serious topic, insulin resistance. I'm going to be answering the question, what is insulin resistance and why should you care? Why is it so important that you, as a common person, should be aware of what insulin resistance is? And I'm going to be telling you what kind of uh, diseases can come about if indeed you have insulin resistance. So, what exactly is insulin resistance and why should you care? Insulin is a hormone that is created by a particular organ in your body called the pancreas. If you're just a novice and you don't, you don't know anything about insulin, I have a video where I explained extensively what insulin is and its relationship to glucose management in your blood. So insulin is released whenever you take food, especially carbohydrate food. And what is the work of this insulin? The work of insulin is to cause your cells to take in glucose, which is the end product of carbohydrate metabolism. That is the end product of the food that you've taken into your body. So what happens is that once you take in food, it stimulates the pancreas to produce insulin. And this insulin now causes the cells to accept sugar. And this is how you get energy. So let's say you eat 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. in the morning. You take in some toast, some bread and all that. You spike up your insulin. The pancreas releases insulin. Because it's a kind of feedback mechanism. And then your sugar is pushed into your cells. You eat again by 11. Maybe you take some snacks, you're hungry. Insulin is released. You eat your lunch, maybe by two, insulin is released. Then before you have, you have your dinner, maybe you eat a little snack again on the way, insulin is released. So your body keeps, your pancreas keeps working to ensure that the sugar in your system does not go more than 100 milligrams per day, which is the normal level of sugar. So the pancreas is continually working Monday to Friday. If you're eating frequently every day, you keep working your pancreas. You keep working your pancreas for the whole month. And your pancreas keep releasing insulin every day. You do this for months. You do this for years. And your food is 70 to 80% carbohydrate based. After several years, your cells will become insensitive to insulin. That means when you eat, the pancreas releases insulin, but the insulin is not recognized by your cells. And what happens when that occurs? It simply means that you're having a lot of glucose running around in your blood that has not been pushed into your cells. And when you do have a lot of glucose in your blood, it sends a more signal to your pancreas. Produce insulin. I do not have a glucose in my cells. So more insulin is produced. Because according to the pancreas, there's too much sugar. So it has to keep producing more insulin. But the problem is not the insulin. The problem now is that the cells that are supposed to react to the insulin are no longer sensitive to the insulin. And when this occurs in your body, you are having insulin resistance. So now when you have this insulin resistance, you end up having so much sugar in your system. What can this cause? Number one, pre-diabetic. A pre-diabetic stage is when you have a very high normal sugar 
but it is not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetic. That's number one problem with high sugar in your blood. Number two problem is you develop type 2 diabetes. Now with type 2 diabetes, you will need to live on medications, most times for life, most times for some time, if you can regulate your diet. Then number three, when you are diabetic, the next thing you can develop is blindness. That's what they call um, diabetic retinopathy. You're blind because of the high sugar in your system. And then number four, I think, it can lead to all kinds of renal problems. Are you now seeing so many, so many complications of insulin resistance just because of excessive carbohydrate intake? Other kinds of uh, diseases that uh, high blood sugar can lead to include inflammation, heart disease, stroke, memory loss, <laughs> visceral fat, that is having fat around the organs in your system. And sometimes, cancer. You see why insulin resistance is bad. But the amazing thing is that you can control it. You can prevent all these things from happening. That is why I'm doing this video. I've worked in the medical field for long. I have seen how the stress that comes from treating diabetes. And it's amazing that it's something that you can control. So in my next video, I'm going to be talking about different tests that you can do in the lab and even at home to be able to know if you, are, if you have insulin resistance. To be able to know if you, if you are in a pre-diabetic state. Because if you can check this, that is the best time to control your sugar before you become diabetic. Try and watch my next video because it's quite important. Because that is where it starts. Because if you do not know that you have insulin resistance, you would not know that you should start checking your diet. So, go to my next video and please watch that video to the end. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Stay healthy.